Christopher Ecclestone is the Chief Executive Officer of Alix Resources Corp. Christopher, you don't need any real introduction to the Investor Intel audience. You're very well known. Welcome via Skype to the Investor Intel studio. Good. Thank you very much. You've uh, recently been appointed the Chief Executive Officer of Alix. I think you were on the, the advisory board for some time, so you know the story well. What's going to be your focus coming into the CEO chair? As a project generator, um, we can roam far and wide in looking for projects to develop, and um, that's what we're doing. We've got some projects already, um, some more advanced than others, um, and uh, we're going to be looking to add some more on and then thinking about the ways that we can um, uh, generate some value from them in the future. With the portfolio approach, What's in the portfolio now, or why why were the different properties chosen? Well, our first property of note is the Mexican property, which um, joins uh, both the north and south ends, the um, Sonora project of Bacanora, which has attracted a lot of interest because they announced that they had a deal uh, potentially for the offtake um, from that to Tesla. And so that's made the area a bit hot, and uh, we've got... Fortunately, the, the, the um, extensions of both the north and the south of that. So we're developing that with um, an ASX-listed company called Lithium Australia, um, which is also known to the Investor Intel um, audience. And um, so they are paying to earn in on that property, and that's our main prospect at the mo moment. Uh, but our wholly owned um, properties uh, consist of several in Quebec, uh, one in Ontario, and then there's another property um, farther west um, that we haven't done any work on at the moment. But it is interesting because it's not just lithium, but it's a number of other um, minerals as well that uh, we picked up for, um, previously been worked on by Tanco, which is a well-known company in the Tantalum space. Beyond exploration, does the company have plans uh, to do other things with lithium? We would wish to develop uh, a presence in the value-added chain of lithium and uh, interestingly people think of that as being a, involved in the presence of making the batteries. Uh, in fact, we want to go beyond that. Uh, we want to get involved in this phase after the batteries are exhausted and um, start working with uh, the recycling of uh, lithium batteries because it's not just the lithium um, itself that's in these batteries but we also have that other um, obscure object of desire of the recent times, uh, cobalt, um, which um, as a conflict mineral, um, in fact, the one, one of the few non-conflict sources of cobalt will actually be recycled batteries. That's very exciting. What, what should investors be looking for in the way of news flow on that subject? Well, we're going to be announcing that we're moving into this space um, with a very well-known operator in the... Uh, specialty metals area, and um, they will be um, helping us in moving forward uh, and move to um, a, a really a demonstration plant in the short term um, because we do not want to spend a long time on this because I, I, I believe in many of these specialty metals that the advantage goes to the first mover, and we want to be a first mover in lithium recycling. Well, that's very exciting, and we look forward to seeing the news and following the story closely. Thanks very much, Christopher. Thank you.